America. How are y'all doing? I'm not saying that I'm Superman. I'm just saying you ain't ever fucking seen Superman and me in the same room. No, no shit. No ego aside. All ego aside. Man, up leveling like a motherfucker in life comes with what we call up leveling dilemmas. And uh, I don't often uh, rant on the or on these uh, videos. This is a, this is a motherfucking rant for sure. So uh, if you guys, uh, I'm sure you guys are well aware, uh, I got robbed at gunpoint uh, in Atlanta about two and a half. Three weeks ago, right? Shit was going amazing in my life. Shit was going amazing. Some sh so some shit had to show up to knock me off my pedestal to see how I would respond to that. And I responded fucking well. I responded with getting my ass in gear and uh, propelling my company TyFit to the best month financially that we've ever had. So uh, on the phone with clients today, kicking fucking ass. Um, you know, just doing what I love to do, man. It's not even like work. Uh, helping people achieve their goals, um, you know, getting getting shit situated, getting stuff in the back end figured out. Uh, I'm working on some of the marketing. Had an amazing conversation with Sean Whalen today. Going to go to his event, and life is fucking good, you know. Life is just kicking fucking ass. Then all of a sudden, get a phone call from my bank, and uh, they're like, Tyson, did uh, you cash a couple checks recently? And I'm like, no. Nah. And they're like, hey, would you uh, go online and uh? Tell me uh, the last uh, two withdrawals that you made. And I'm like, yeah, let me, ch let me check. Let me get on my phone and check on the app. Well, no fucking shit. It's fucking $2,300 worth of fucking checks written. 2300 bucks worth of fucking checks. Right? Life is getting good, brother. Sisters, it was getting fucking awesome. Woo! I mean, I was fucking jacked. And then some shit needs to show up like that to knock me off my fucking pedestal. Up-leveling dilemmas, man. The quicker you excel through life, the more shit is gonna show up to try to bring you back down to your old reality. But the fact of the matter is, is that all the world is trying to do is see how the fuck you respond, you know? Because it really isn't in the good times where we can measure growth. It's in adversity when we can measure growth. It's when the shit hits the fucking fan that we can measure growth. So really, it ain't no thing. I was on the phone for two, three hours. Well, the lady said that they can't put holds on the check. We did freeze the account. Um, you know, the one account that it was in. So I still have accounts that I can use, but holy shit. So, uh, you know, it's all good. I got money, um, but you know, $2,300 later. I'm not sure when I'm gonna see that again. I'm not sure, um, you know, how long it's gonna be. I got a claim number and everything. But the fact of the matter is, is that how you respond is everything. How you respond to adversity is fucking everything in life. Fuck 90-10. It's 99-1. Circumstances don't mean shit. Create what the fuck you want. You could steal all the money from me in the world and I would still dominate my fucking life. You could beat my ass. I would still dominate a life. You could pretty much put me through whatever the fuck you want now and I would dominate a life. I like to use the analogy, you guys ever seen uh, those little blow up clowns, right? With the weights at the bottom? You know where you hit them and they bounce right back up? That's the action boss, motherfucker. That's the action boss. This is Tyson James Lee. I gotta go get a workout in. And I'm just about that action, boss.